What is going on everyone? Tutorial Tim here and today we're going to go about adding auto layout to the rest of our buttons and the buttons that do not have auto layout currently are the ones that contain an icon and also this toggle button which is composed of icons and you can just duplicate the file in the description and go ahead and get started. So we can just grab this button here. It's already a master component and uh, currently if we edit it, it doesn't have auto layout. The text just continues to go outside of the bounding box uh, that we've specified for this button. So all we have to do is we could even do this from scratch, go ahead, create a frame, and ensure that it has the right height and width. So it's uh, the width set to 106 pixels and the height set to 36 pixels. And then what we can do is hit Option Command C on the parent uh, parent level frame of this master component and then select our invisible frame currently and hit Option Command V to paste those styles and uh, the properties of that button. So we, which are just styles attached to our system so we don't have to worry about that. Um, and we can go ahead and copy this text, select our, our new button and just go ahead and copy our icon and paste that in as well. And we're just really copy pasting and all these elements uh, are in place. You just gotta double check for any, any spacing. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over four more pixels, there we go. Now we have our button ready to go. And we can go ahead and even rename this. So I'm gonna just hit Command R, Command C to copy that. Command R, Command V to paste. And then I'm going to hit Shift A on my keyboard. And you'll notice when you hit Shift A, by default, auto layout will uh, snap your content in the parent frame, the child elements to the top and left. And we wanna center that content, which just moved it slightly. So now our button's centered within our parent frame and we can go ahead and type something and the auto layout works, which is great. And we can, now even just make this the master component by holding down option command K. So that is now our master component and we can just delete that one and republish this. Uh, for, for the sake of this tutorial, you probably wouldn't want to delete the master component if this was already in a pre-existing uh, library that designers were using because then it just delete that component and that would not be good. So we're gonna go ahead and add auto layout to this button now. You'll notice that it doesn't have auto layout currently. What we can do is select it, hit, we can click this plus button and it adds auto layout. And then we're just gonna wanna center our content and it, boom, we got auto layout. It's that simple since we've already had all the, uh, the proper padding and spacing between our elements within that button, we, we were able to make that very fast. So now I'm gonna hit option command K. It's now a master component designers can use. And we already have auto layout applied to these, these these but these text only buttons and now we're going to go ahead and build out this toggle button so this toggle button uh, has we're going to go ahead and create it from scratch so with, we're going to hit option command c on the parent level frame we're going to create a new frame that's 144 pixels wide and 36 pixels high we're going to hit uh, it's actually 48 pixels my bad and then we're gonna hit Option Command V and paste those styles. So now we have the proper stroke and background color. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is copy this toggle element where we paste it in. And we're gonna hit Shift A to add auto layout. And now we have auto layout as a parent to this toggle element. And by default, it added one pixel padding around the entire element. And we're gonna change that to zero and then we're gonna to have to realign our elements. It's currently one pixel off. And if you hold option WA, it'll snap it to the top and left of your parent frame. And we can go ahead and just duplicate this toggle now. And you'll notice that by default, there is a 10 pixel spacing in between each toggle element. And we can go ahead and select the, the auto layout parent frame or parent, yeah, that auto layout layer and then change the spacing between to zero. And now all of these snap nice and snug, which is what we want. And it reflects the current design here of the toggle button. And one thing you can do is if you need to say duplicate another toggle element, you have more toggle elements. All you have to do is hit Command D. Oh, whoops. Uh, we can hit Command D and then it'll just paste and expand this toggle button. But the last thing we need to do is the parent frame needs to be 
uh, needs to have auto layout as well. So we'll hit Shift A again, and now we can go ahead and select a toggle element and hit Command D to duplicate, and you'll notice it'll just keep growing and have all the proper spacing needed. And if you ever needed to swap an icon, all you have to do is search for an icon and ensure you have the proper uh, layer selected, this placeholder icon, and then you can drag this, hold Option Command, and replace that icon. And that is all we have today for our button components. The last thing we need to do is just ensure that this is named properly and then turn that into a master component for designers to use. Um, and that is all we have, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share. And I'll catch you in the next one.